The Unbelievable Power of the B-2 Bomber Popularly known as the B-2, this breathtaking aircraft's full name is the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. You don't talk about powerful aircraft in any country's military defense without calling out the B-2 Spirit. Nonetheless, it is very natural to wonder what makes this aircraft different from any other aircraft we know. Hello guys, welcome to Tech Unity. How's your day going? Hope you're having a great time. Before we proceed with this video, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly click on the notification bell to get updates on our exciting content. Interestingly, the notable difference between this bomber and every other aircraft is its ability to prioritize the stealth function. In case it's not yet clear, the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit is a stealth bomber. However, another characteristic of this aircraft that makes it stand out is its ability to stay hidden even though it travels at the speed of sound. Just how can an aircraft that travels at a top speed of up to Mach 0.95 stay well hidden throughout its journey? Come on now, and join us in today's video as we look at the extraordinary power of the B-2 Spirit Bomber that is guaranteed to blow you away. With remarkable outlook, this aircraft is said to be wider than it is long. It flaunts over 52 meters in length on the wingspan, and this trumps over the size of the entire bomber, known to be about 21 meters in length. Interestingly, this difference in its length and width is hardly noticeable. This is all thanks to its innovative packaging. The B-2's cross-section is about 0.1 meters squared, which is really negligible compared with a cargo aircraft that can go as much as about 100 square meters. Make no mistake, the low drag wing is preferred since the configuration not only assists the aircraft in achieving minimal cross-section, but also greatly enhances the range of the aircraft. The wings can travel more than 11,000 kilometers, that is, about 6,900 miles in a single go. It doesn't end there. Thanks to its capacity to be refueled in between flights, it can travel even further than that distance. Radar absorbent materials like a carbon graphite composite are also instrumental in the reduction of the aircraft's infrared signature. This they do by absorbing many of the radar beams that would naturally detect such a plane. Another interesting fact about this bomber is that up to 80% of the aircraft is made of composite materials known to have radar absorbent properties. These materials are extremely strong and perfectly fitted for the B-2's ultra-dynamic nature. A closer study of the wing, for example, reveals a larger degree of flex than could ever be found in an airplane you may have flown in. Fortunately, the flex also plays a vital role. It helps absorb energy from aerodynamic stress, making it more efficient at high speed. Making adequate use of these flex materials in the creation of this Spirit Bomber also helps the longevity of the aircraft. In cases where metals and metal alloys are used instead of flex materials, such an aircraft is assumed to have a shorter lifespan, since composite materials can be meticulously engineered at a molecular level to extend and improve the fatigue cycles. Let me try making this a lot simpler. A fatigue cycle is the failure mechanism process that has a lot to do with the cracking of structural components and materials due to the stress that machines are expected to experience. Now, a growing number of target countries are recognizing the need to improve the fatigue cycle of the bomber, and thus have turned to other ways of detecting aircraft failure cycles. Infrared systems are utilized in detecting the heat of an aircraft, not only from its engines, but the body. For an average man, you may be probably wondering how the body of an aircraft gets heated up since the engine is known to do all the work while the body just floats in the air. Well, the body of the aircraft gets heated up due to the friction between the body and the surrounding air. In order to combat this, the engines are buried deep in the fuselage to keep the aircraft as prepared as possible should there be any technical mishaps during any travel. Additionally, the B-2 Spirit Bomber was built not to rely on GPS, but rather a range of sensors, gyroscopes, and radars. These sensors and radars are used in order to help pilots, where they were based on landmarks. Normally, a GPS antenna would make the aircraft readily susceptible to be picked up by enemies. Later in the cause of upgrading this ship, hundreds of thousands of dollars were shelved into producing a new type of GPS known as ENCODE. 
the ENCODE GPS was more reliable, responsive, and destined solely for the military's use. This amazing piece of technology represented a very vital milestone in navigation technology. No doubt, a look at this massive aircraft, the first thing that comes to mind is the strength and how powerful it is. However, this ship isn't just about the strength or the stealthy feature, but its principal purpose is to carry and fire ammo in target countries with a width that is almost half the length of a football field. A glance at this aircraft, you would be left with the thought that it could carry a lot. However, whatever you imagined it could carry, double that and add some more loads to that. That's how much the B-2 can store on its deck. With its internal bays recorded to have an official load limit of about 18 tons, there is no doubt this aircraft has the capacity of carrying even more if there is any need for it. That's not all there is to this aircraft. A survey of its armament boasts about 80,500 pound class bombs, 36 750 pound class bombs, 16 2000 pound class bombs, and 16 nuclear bombs, such as the B-61 or B-83. Sure, there are lots of jargon if you have nothing to do with the military, but have it at the back of your mind that this is a whole lot for such an aircraft. Exploring further reveals a handful of other satellite-driven missiles and penetrators. Anyway, nearly a decade after the aircraft was first conceived as reported by any update back in June 2007, the B-2 Spirit Bomber was awarded a contract to assimilate to Massive Ordnance Penetrator or MOP weapons. This GPS-guided weapon flaunts about 5,300 pounds of explosive materials and is diligently created to target even the most protected enemy compounds. Something that has remained a wonder to most people in this field, remarkably, the B-2 bomber manufacturers say that it is the most survivable aircraft in the world. It should interest you to note that this aircraft combines three things that no other rival could. Long range, stealth, and the ability to carry a surprisingly heavy payload. Well, it's not for free since all this comes at a cost. Back in the year when this aircraft was manufactured, each of them sold for about $737 million. Hold on, you should know that such an amount back in 1997 is about $1.2 billion in today's currency. Now, tell me why this aircraft wouldn't have those out-of-the-world features mentioned earlier. Undoubtedly, this amount is very affordable compared to the cost incurred during the development and testing of the B-2 Spirit Bomber. The amount incurred during testing and development was over $2.13 billion. This figure was just for one aircraft. Adjusting $2.13 billion to today's currency will leave us at $3.5 billion. You can go on to do your calculation for 132 examples that were commissioned at the beginning of the project. The figure later dropped to 75 after the Soviet Union dissolved in the 1990s. 20 pieces of this aircraft were acquired under the George H.W. Bush administration. Much later, a final 21st aircraft was given the go-ahead to be converted from a prototype. On a happy note, all 21 prototypes released back in the 1990s are still in operation, and the US plans to keep them until 2032 before letting them retire at the age of over 30. Agreed, the entire process didn't swallow the entire $3.5 billion. Some of the cost went into procuring an old Ford plant in Pico Rivera, California which had to be refurbished to be able to house the aircraft's widespread wingspan at the early stages of the program. The plant is kept a mystery such that workers on the site are often required to work out of uniform to avoid suspicion. Sometimes, they get subjected to routine polygraph or lie detector tests just to be certain of their loyalty. Much of the company's procurement was, more often than not, placed through front companies so that the assembly of the B-2 would be kept secret. According to operational leaders, purchasing them was one thing, while keeping them at the top of the list of the world's most impressive stealth bombers was another. Observation revealed that the estimated time of flight for each aircraft is about 119 hours in maintenance. That is about two times what is required by the B-1B and B-52. In 2010, studies disclosed that each hour of flight cost roughly 135 
$1,000 to the US taxpayer. Enough of all that. We have managed to cover every aspect of the B-2, from its extraordinary stealth to its astounding firepower. Now, let's take a glimpse at what it takes for one to be inside such an aircraft. Pilots are trained daily. This only means that they are subjected to such training to make them competent enough to fly the aircraft whenever a mission demands that of them. The trainee and the instructor keep the aircraft's two seats, both having access to the stick with hands-on at all times. The instructor can step in at any point protocol, announce who takes over should, and who should study the operation. If you have any plans of becoming a B-2 pilot, you should have it at the back of your mind that you have a series of mind-rocketing pieces of training coming up. There's no denying that the B-2 Spirit Bomber is an incredibly advanced high-tech piece of engineering that combines some amazing facts, a high top speed, and the power to destroy a large expanse of landmass while maintaining ultimate stealth. Incredulous, right? There you have it, the unbelievable power of the B-2 Bomber. If this video was insightful, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell button to be notified whenever we upload videos like this one. That's it for me, guys. Don't forget to stay classy and safe, and I will see you in the next video.